Yeah, good morning, class. Good morning, I'm here to take what chemistry. Under chemistry, there is a major something which is important to us chemists, which is what? Matter. What is the meaning of matter? Matter is anything that has mass that occupies what? Space. In chemistry, matter is referred to as what? Substance. Now, what do I mean? I said what? Matter. Which is referred to as what? Substance. Anything that is what matter in the universe can also be called what substance. We have two types of what substance, which are an impure substance. Pure substance are substances that have its constituents in its pure state. Example, we have the elements. We also have what compound. They are all what pure substance. We also have what impure substance, which are what mixture. From here, a mixture is subdivided into two. We have the homogeneous, homogeneous mixture and heterogeneous mixture. What's the meaning of what homogeneous mixture? Homogeneous mixture are mixture which have its constituents in the same phase. That means its constituents are in the same physical world state. E.g., we have what a mixture of substance which consists of gas and what gas we have a mixture of substance which consists of what liquid and what liquid we have a mixture of substance which consists of what solid and what solid example of gas and gas we have a mixture of air example of liquid and what liquid we have what water and kerosene mixed together solid and solid example are alloys Heterogeneous mixture are mixture which have its constituents in different phase that is they are in different or state of what matter. E.g. Example, e.g. we have gas mixed with liquid, gas mixed with solid, we also have a solid mixed with what? Liquid. Now gas and liquid, e.g. we have a rated drink, beer. Example, beers. Soft drinks. When you open a soft drink, you're going to see a gas coming out. Yes or no? That gas is known as a CO2, commonly used. And you have the word the liquid, which is what liquid and what? Gas. We also have what gas and what? Solid. E.g., solid what particles suspended in air during what? Amateur. Are you with me? So we also have solid and what? Liquid. E.g., water. Plus what? Stool. The aim of a chemist is to produce a pure substance. How can we convert all this impure material, that means mixture, into what pure substance? There is a particular word method which we refer to as what separating what techniques. Separating what techniques? They are techniques which we employ in chemistry to convert our mixture, that means impure substance to, to pure substance. Are you with me? Now, for you to take any techniques in this, which we want to use to separate what anything, we must determine or know the physical constituent of that word mixture. The physical constituent of that word mixture is what? Important. Now, what are those word techniques that we want, that we have? Number one, we have a sieving. Number two, we have decantation. Number three, we have filtration. Four, we have evaporation. Five, sublimation. Six, distillation. Seven, crystallization. It's separating for them. We have now magnetization. And then we have chromatography. Now let me take it from the first one towards 
to the down one. Now, the first one is what? Saving. Saving is a separating technique which we use to separate a substance or a mixture which have a different size particle, majorly solid particle. E.g., whenever you are having a rice and beans mixed together, which type of separating techniques are you going to use? Since we are having rice and beans which are solid, of all different, different sizes. So you can simply use what saving. In saving, there is something we normally use. We call it what mesh. The function of that mesh is to allow the smaller particle to pass through and hold the bigger what one. Eat the rice and beans. When you pour your rice and beans in what in a mesh of a particular size, and the mesh allows the smaller sizes particle to move through, which is what the rice, and hold behind the what the bigger what one, which is what the beans. That example of separating techniques is known as what? Saving. This is majorly used in industry, in West Africa, what? Industry. In Gary industry in West Africa. Mining of gold and what? Slaver. Now the next one, we have what? Decantation. In decantation, when we have a liquid, when we have a liquid and solid, e.g. water and what? Stove, mixed together. We can simply use what decantation because we are having a two mixture, which is solid and what liquid, which can form two distinct layers. That means two pure layers when we allow them to stand. Which can form two what pure layer when you allow them to what to stand. E.g., water and what and stove in a container. When you allow this mixture to stand for some hours, it's going to form a two distinct layer. Now, the liquid layer can be decant off. The liquid layer can be what? Decant off. And left behind the world, the solid one. Are you there? So, that's what the method of what decantation. Now, the next one, filtration. What does it mean about filtration? Now, if you're having a solid particle in liquid, but in this time, the solid form a suspension in that word liquid. The word solid form a suspension in that word liquid. Now, here we're going to use what filtration, not what decantation. Reason? Because if we use what decantation to separate what a solid what particles that form suspension in liquid, you can't get a pure substance from what from that. So we're going to use another method which is known as what filtration. Here we're going to apply or use a filter paper, a porous what material that is going to allow the liquid to what pass through and hold the what the solid what particle. Now here. The solid that we want to recover is known as what? Residue. Why the liquid we recover from here is known as what? Filtrates. Are you with me? Now the last one, which is what? E.g. For filtration, we can, when you have a solid, which is what? A shock and what? Water mixed together. We can simply use what? Filtration. Now the next one, evaporation. Now, evaporation and what? Evaporation and crystallization, they go along what in the same way, unlike what decantation and what filtration, which we separate what solid from what liquid, but different what solid in that what in that liquid. This one will not form what suspension, but this one will form what suspension. Evaporation and what crystallization. In evaporation, when we are having a solute, plus what solvents, is going to form what solution. Now we want to recover the solute from what solvent. We want to recover the solute from what solvent. Now what are we going to do? Which type of solute are we talking about? Which type of solvent are we talking about? Do we need the word solvent at the end of our experiment? Yes or no? That is a question that must come to our mind before what performing this word experiment. Now here, yeah, if we want to use evaporation. The solute we are using evaporation for must be a solute that has high melting points. What do I call it? High melting point. That means that substance, which is what? Solid substance, must be able to withstand high heat. We popularly call this what? Evaporation to dryness. Evaporation to what? To dryness. E.g., sodium chloride plus what? Water. To form what? Sodium chloride what? Solution. NaClA kills. This is what? Solid. 
are you with me? Now we can use water formation to what to drain it to recover our sodium chloride from what? From water. Since sodium chloride is a type of solid that can withstand what I eat. Now the next one, sublimation. Sublimation is used to recover a substance, which is solid substance, which when heated, turn directly towards gas without passing the what? The liquid state, e.g. solid iodine solid iodine or ammonium chloride and so on. Camphor, they are what? Solid substance which when heated if turned directly towards to gas. Now when you are having such or solid in a mixture, the easier way to separate them from that mixture is to use what? Sublimation. Just eat the word the solid mixture and allow the solid that can Turn to gas, allow it to escape, and leave behind the what? The remaining one. Now the next one, we have what? Distillation. Distillation is used to recover solvents from what? Solution. Now we have two types of distillation. We have what? Simple distillation. Simple distillation and what? Fractional distillation. What is the meaning of a simple distillation? If you are having a miscible liquid, what do I mean? A miscible liquid. That means two what liquid that can what interact together. E.g., polar liquid and polar liquid, they can interact together. They're going to what mix together. E.g., water and what ethanol. Now, all what liquid have their own what boiling points. All liquid have their own what boiling point. If the liquid which is mixed together are having a wide differences in the range of what boiling point, we can simply use what? Simple distillation. But if the differences in the what? In the boiling point are what? Close together. We're going to use what? Fractional distillation. Now, e.g. example of a substance that we use our simple distillation to separate is what? Water plus what? Ethanol. Water plus ethanol. Water is having the boiling point of what? 100 degrees Celsius. And ethanol is having a boiling point of 79.8 degree watt Celsius. You can see the differences in the range of the boiling point that is kind of what wide apart. Now the next one, the fractional what distillation. E.g., if you are having a crude oil, crude oil, have some what constituent which are what liquid and they are mixed together. In crude oil, we have what petrol. We have what? Petrol, we have kerosene, we have diesel, yes or no? So for us to what? Recover all these what constituents from that what mixture, we use what? Fractional distillation. Here, the principle used is known as what? Boiling point. The principle used in what? In distillation is known as what? Boiling point. Now the next one, we have what? Crystallization. Crystallization is a separating technique which we use to separate Solid from what? Solid. Solvent. Now, the type of solid we are talking about is the one that is having low melting points, which cannot withstand what I eat. Unlike evaporation, the solutes can withstand what I eat. Why in crystallization it cannot withstand what I eat? That means it's having what? Low melting what? Point. E.g., we are having what? Sugar. When you eat your sugar directly, it's going to turn to what to brown. That means the sugar has what decomposed. So we can use what uh, evaporation to what to dryness to what to recover our sugar. But most textbooks do use what evaporation to what to dryness. But to me, I prefer to use what crystallization or recrystallization is the same thing. Now the next one, separating funnel. When we are having two liquid which cannot interact together, that means we call them what immiscible what liquid. Probably we are having what? A polar liquid and non-polar liquid. E.g. kerosene and water. Water is polar, kerosene is non-polar. So when you want to separate what them, when they are what mixed together, they're going to form what? Two distinct what layer. We can simply use what separating techniques, I mean separating funnel to separate what? To separate that. Are you with me? Now the next one, magnetization. When we are having a magnetic or substance from impurities, which are our non-magnetic what substance. That means a substance that can what be magnetized. So you can easily use what magnetization to what to remove that what magnetic substance from what non-magnetic what substance. 
Now chromatography. This chromatography is what is why. We use what chromatography in many what field, in analytical what field, in separating what field. Now this chromatography, the common one is what paper chromatography, which have to do with what the migration of the constituents of what mixture through absorbent. The migration of constituents of what mixture through what absorbent. Are you with me? So the distance with the word constituent of each constituent move is going to what be determined. So that distance can be used to determine which what constituent is what is this. Normally we call it what color separation. We do call it what color what separation because we do use what pigments in what in chromatography. Mostly we use what pigment in what chromatography. Now let me also summarize my class. Here we are talking about what matter, and I said matter can be referred to as what substance. Substance is divided into what? Pure and what? Impure, impure what? Substance. On our what? Impure what? Substance, we have what? Example, mixture. Yes or no? And on our this word mixture, mixture is what? Subdivided into what? Two homogeneous and what? Heterogeneous. Which are what? When we are having what? A substance which its constituent, that means the mixture of that substance, its constituents are in the same what state of matter, e.g. gas and gas, e.g. liquid and what liquid, e.g. solid and what solid. They are all in the same what state of what matter. So they are what homogeneous what mixture. Heterogeneous, we are having the constituent of that mixture in what different what state of what matter. Gas and liquid, liquid and what solid, solid and what liquid. Now, for us to what, convert this one mixture into what pure substance, the techniques or the method that we probably, I mean, that we normally what use is called what separating what techniques, which are what I liked it, which are what saving, decantation, filtration, evaporation, sublimation, distillation, crystallization, separating phonem, magnetization, chromatography. Now, the next one I'm going to talk about to what, how can we ascertain? that we are having a pure what substance. Now, if the substance we are talking about is what? Solid. We use what? Melting point. If the substance we are talking about is what? Liquid. We use what? Boiling point. And if it is what? Pigment or anything, we use what? Chromatography. But I do call it what? Pigment. Chromatography. Here, when we are having a pure solid what substance, is going to have a sharp melting point. A solid substance is going to have a sharp what melting point or a narrow range in what melting point. Ng, benzoic acid, which is having the melting point of what 122 degree what Celsius. Or the range is from 120 degree Celsius to what 122 degree what Celsius. If there is what presence of impurity in benzoic acid, the melting point is going to what decrease. The range is going to range from what 110 degrees Celsius to 118 degree what Celsius. That means the presence of what impurity decreases the melting point of what solid. Now for liquid, the presence of what impurity increases the boiling point of what liquid. Now, e.g., water is having the boiling point of what 100 degree what Celsius. If there is presence of what impurity, the boiling point is going to what increase. Probably you're going to have something like one one what, one ten what degree what Celsius. For pigment now, when we use what a paper what chromatography, the pigment is going to have a spot, a spot on chromatographic what plates. Are you with me? Now this is where I'm going to end my class. I think we do all enjoy the class.